welcome to F YouTube, where you provide all the information in return for a holiday to Vegas. No, we can't do that. A holiday to Briz Vegas. Nope. A dictionary? Zoe, we're not made of dictionaries. A heartfelt letter of appreciation? Are you going to write them? F YouTube, the segment where you provide all the F you in return for sweet F A. First up, a good day to our friends in Tasmania. And a big F you goes to companies who claim their products are grown or made in our beautiful southernmost state when really they're not, which is a total scam. Thanks, Senator. Warwick got in touch to let us know how much he loves his Tasmanian Tamar Valley no added sugar low fat mixed berry yogurt. And when we say love, we mean it. I used to sit in the lunchroom and read the poetic words on the packaging. There's nowhere on earth like the rolling hills of Tasmania's pristine, pristine Tamar, Tamar Valley. We think it is the perfect place to create our delicious gourmet and Greek style yogurts. And we agree. Tasmania's right up there on the list of perfect places to make Greek style yogurt. Warwick liked that Tasmania's Tamar Valley yogurt was made in Tasmania. And you can see why he thought that when he saw their ad, where these berries get tied up in a neat little box labelled Tamar Valley, and the nice man in the ad says... Made in Tasmania. And you can see why he'd think all the ingredients were... Made in Tasmania. But when Warwick emailed Fonterra, who owned Tamar Valley Dairy, they told him all their fruit was not... Made in Tasmania. But in fact sourced... From a number of countries, including China. Now, they assured Warwick that their berries were cooked in China and put in sterile bags. So while it may be safe, their ad would be more accurate if it looked like this. Tamar Valley yogurt is created in the pristine Tamar Valley. With berries cooked in China and packed in sterile bags. And fresh local milk. Which means they're not... Made in Tasmania. Unless this is what Tasmania looks like. And I'm the first to admit, on occasion I've really let myself go, but I ain't never seen a Mapatazzi like that. Now the thing is, putting boiled Chinese fruit into yogurt in Tasmania doesn't mean you can't label it made in Australia, as we learnt last year from a tiny psychopath in a koala suit. It's this absolute Barry Crocker of a system. But the good news is this might change. The government has promised to introduce new labelling laws for food products that will allow people to tell at a glance how much of the food in a package comes from Australia. See, they're dead serious about this. They told us about it on April Fool's Day and they're hoping to pass it by the end of the year, just as soon as they pass last year's budget. But whatever the chances are of this happening, you can increase them by emailing how you feel to this address. And as for Warwick, I can only hope that his love affair with his muse, Tamar Valley Yogurt, can be mended. I have to admit that some of the magic has gone out of the relationship. Oh, that's a shame. Is it? Speaking of love, our next tipster had a complaint about an over 40s dating website. Now, he didn't want to be identified in this story and because we definitely don't want to emotionally manipulate you, we'd like you to keep in mind this image of an old man eating dinner by himself in a romantic Italian restaurant while we tell you what happened. Let's call him Cecil. Now, Cecil thought he'd give online dating a go and signed up for the dating agency's free service. It wasn't long before Cecil was told he'd received a message from a nice lady. But if he wanted to read it, he had to sign up for $59.99 a month. Oh well, thought Cecil, that's a small price to pay if she turns out to be the one. So he paid up. But when he replied to the nice lady, she wrote back to him and said that she hadn't sent him a message and that it had probably been generated by the website and that she was talking to someone else. So we signed up with the dating agency to find out what was going on with poor Cecil's love life. We made this exciting profile to lure in the ladies and soon our inbox was flooded with personal private messages that we could only read if we paid. Only just like with Cecil, when we asked the ladies, they told us they hadn't sent us any messages, although some thought they might have been computer generated. The dating agency told us this is what they call an introduction. A member writes a message and then they give the dating agency permission to bulk send it on to possible matches. But no one told Cecil about this. So he coughed up 60 bucks because he thought a nice lady had contacted him personally. The introductions feature might help more users meet, it certainly helps more users get screwed. I'm sorry, Cecil. I wonder how someone over 40 looking for love would feel about this. Scam. 
our last FU is for Woolworths. Adam noticed that some of their baked treats are labelled frozen and thawed for your convenience. So he asked Woolworths to... Enlighten me on how this is convenient for anyone other than Woolworths. Now, Woolworths didn't really answer his question, although they did say... I have raised your comments with the relevant area for future reference. <laughs> that Woolworths response wasn't really well thought out. Oh God, I'm sorry. That totally wasn't Woolworths it. I've got so we asked Woolworths the same question and they said The product is thawed so the customer can use it immediately without having to thaw it themselves. Hence, convenient for our customers. Oh, I think I understand. It's like how I glued your vase back together. What, you broke my vase? Let's focus on how I glued your vase back together for your convenience. Wouldn't have been more convenient if you hadn't broken it in the first place. You can go now, Cecil. But this vase is the only thing that I've got. Everyone's sick of you, uh Cecil. But there's an even bigger controversy on the packet that Adam has overlooked. Best served with friends. Because as my mum always says... If a friend serves you a slice of thought out frozen Woolworths cake, they are not a true friend. Thanks, Mum. And thank you, Woolworths, the thawed food people.